finally. Glasses. Oh, what, what is going on? <laughs> um, choose your Tinder picture. Actual honest picture? Picture of Richard. This guy, right? An old picture of Mahmood. Picture of an Arab male model. So, okay. So this is, so this is a picture of Richard. This would be the male model, I guess. Now is this an old looks like an old picture of my mood. Uh see I feel like you should be honest, so that'd be my honest one. But what would be red? Because that's what we do first around here. What would be the red answer? Male model, right? Or would it be Richard? <laughs> hmm. I guess Richard. Let's go, Richard. I'm fine with that. If any guys want to use my picture on Tinder, <laughs> no, that's catfishing, and that's big. No. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Huh? I wonder why they cut out the, that audio. I wonder what that was about. It's continuing though. Okay. Oh well, damn! It is continuing. That was not a red answer then. Uh, what venue do you choose? Out for a drink at a hip bar, fancy restaurant, dive bar for millennials. Which is which? Uh, so I guess this is a fancy restaurant. Doesn't scream fancy to me, personally, but okay. I guess that's the dive bar for millennials. I'm technically a millennial. Does that appeal to me? The old-fashioned lights like that feels more like a hipster bar, to be honest. Um, but then so does this. <laughs> hmm. What would be the red answer? Hip bar or dive bar? I think dive bar, maybe. This is terrible. Yeah. It's, um, something we need to be aware of in this level <laughs> because he's older and obviously he doesn't want to be trying to act young and go into a place where he's going to look like a granddad. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, this isn't going to work for him. But who's he trying to attract? Like, he's trying to attract a younger woman, right? So, like, hmm. Hip bar, maybe? No, okay. See, now this one's wrong. Yes. And it's because it's one of those situations where he's going to be in the, in the bar looking like a granddad. Mm. Which is not good, because he no. is kind of, of the granddad. <laughs> and it's not the message we want to put across, right? No, he can do much better. Okay, so we're forced with the restaurant, okay. So I would prefer if they gave you uh, multiple choices that you could actually go down. But I guess it's, with filming everything, I guess that's a little tricky for them. So yeah, if you're kind of an older, cool guy, I think a restaurant is a solid one, especially compared to some environment where it might seem old, like a trendy bar. Yeah, and also if you are very clever with where you pick, I think that shows a little bit more thoughts just gone into it rather than just the fanciest restaurant or most popular. Except we've just chosen so a fancy what's restaurant. What's going on? Yeah, Richard, I'm, I'm busy today, you know. Yeah, I have yeah. Business day. meetings? Well, I've got a date with a beautiful mm. American mm. girl tonight. Okay. You know me. What's she look like? She's beautiful. Of beautiful course. Beautiful blonde. Yeah. Beautiful booby boobies. Big boobs. <laughs> Big boobs. All right. <laughs> What's the game plan? The game plan is I will go 
meter seduce her mm -hmm. and slay her but what is she intelligent because that, that could be you know me richard as long as she has a nice personality <laughs> that's all that counts <laughs> wow wicked nice one i think you got it all under control so i wish you good luck you let me know how it goes she's gonna be a lucky lady. lady but don't send me the pictures like you did last time <laughs> i don't need to what? see with the horses uh, with all of that and oh. Okay, you know, I you know mean, what I mean. Okay, keep that to yourself. Good okay. luck, mate. See ya. Have Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Max. Yalla. Why, why, yalla? Why is they subtitle that and not what it means? Emma. Uh, this is quite Please tacky visited. place. This ain't you. <laughs> you don't look like your photo. Uh, I've changed over the years. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. You don't look like your picture either. You look older. <laughs> Call her out for her shadowness. Admit a mistake by your PA. Apologize. Uh, what would be the most red? Call her shallow or she looks older? Probably that one, right? Older. I don't look like my photo. There's no way this is you. Yeah, it, it is me. You lied as well. You, you, you said you were 23. You're at least 24 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. And I'm still going to be beautiful when I'm 25. Yeah, but we could be beautiful together. There is no together. No together? I don't think so. You lied to me. Why are you being so negative? I'm not. You're being a trickster. Trickster? This... I'm Mahmoud. You know no. who Mahmoud is? No, this is weird. And this is, must be a joke. No, it's not a joke. You're being deluded. I'm deluded? <laughs> yeah, you you're watch crazy. too much CNN. They brainwash you. I don't watch CNN. <laughs> Fox. Fox, no. No, this is ridiculous. I don't think so. You're being ridiculous. You wasted my time. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Do not walk one foot outside this restaurant. Hey, hey, come here. Hey, Fuck off. Waiter, come here. Hey, you stupid whore. <laughs> She'll definitely change your mind when you say that. <sighs> Amazing. Ooh, it's not very flattering. Bit rude? Very rude. And you shouldn't discuss a woman's age, right? No, never. never. Why? Never. Mm -hmm. Don't even say it. Oh, I wasn't going to. I mean, who cares about their I'm age? Now. Why be so sensitive about your age? That's stupid. I don't know why people are like that. Uh, you're super shallow! I can't believe you'd be so shallow to jug Mahmoud over a picture. I'm not shallow. You lied to me. I didn't lie. I mean, why should I lie to you? To try to get me to do something with you? I mean, you're just looking at the exterior. Look at look at my heart. You know, it's bleeding for you at the moment. But you lied to me. Why yeah. can't you just put your real photo on? Yeah, but, 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 uh, excuse me, I identify like, as being Richard. You know, it wasn't my fault, but... You know, you're here now and... and How dare you? You know, I want you to spend some time with me. You won't regret it. Inside, I'm you Richard. So beautiful. Come on. Don't be so mean to Mahmoud. I'm sure you've you. got a beautiful heart as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll stay. Thank you. But Please. only for five minutes. Okay, okay. Sit down. Thank you. That's the right option. There's not a fantastic option in this situation, but that's about as good as you can do. Really? Call her shallow. <laughs> Try and gaslight her. Some mm. tea. Sure. Shouldn't I wait to Deep do this for you? <laughs> I think we should get some shisha. What is that? They do lovely strawberry and daffodil. What? Um, yalla! Hey! Pronto! What does yalla mean? <laughs> yes, sir. My child. 
strawberry and Does it mean quick? shisha for me and my princess. Pronto? Yes, sir. Compliment her by telling her she looks like your daughter. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Casual incest, nice. Uh, give her lots of compliments to make her feel good. Validate her for not being judgmental and shallow like most women her age. Ask if she is still a virgin. Brilliant. What is the most read? Probably the daughter, I imagine. Emma, you look like my daughter. <laughs> what? I was seeing a, a Finnish woman. Uh, she gave me albino child. Beautiful, just like you. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> no, I don't Where? want... How dare you insult my daughter? <laughs> What? I'm not insulting your daughter. Well, what are you doing? I don't need to be here. Hey, you come back. I've ordered shisha. No, I'm, I'm gone. Hey, come back. Hey, what are you doing? I'm leaving. Oh, stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> mm, this is clearly obvious why this wouldn't work. Because he's old or because he's comparing to his daughter? Yeah, you're instantly creating the boundaries of their relationship. And it's not very sexy, is it? Not so you sexy. look like... Well, you should, you should hope no. not. Yeah. Why, well, you're so pretty and beautiful. I, I desire you. Yeah, you look just like my daughter. <laughs> Ask her if she's a virgin. Brilliant. Am I you still a virgin? What? answering that question that's a straightforward question it's none of your business you have to answer the question i'm not you don't going to answer that question if you want to be whore number 13 you <laughs> now you're fucking disgusting <laughs> I'm fucking stupid whore oh you wasted my off. fucking time yeah cool great you'll never walk Go again in this i don't give a fuck you silly bitch <laughs> so aggressive Gross. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Ah. Uh, hmm. Validate her or give her lots of compliments. Let's validate her. That's probably worse than giving her compliments. Emma, I need to compliment you on your character. You made such a good decision in staying, and you made Mahmoud very happy today. I think that, you know, this is a very special moment for both of us. Well, I appreciate the compliment. I try to give everyone a second chance. Your inner beauty shines through. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Those bloody judgmental shallow women, yeah? Flattery 101. Oh, was that the good choice then? Oh, okay. What do you do for a living? I am passionate about what I do and try to make a difference. Listen, I didn't commit business for a woman. <laughs> Don't have to worry about money. No, you'll look after her. So you have a family business. Why KK Zips? I don't know what I mean, but okay. Uh, that's gotta be the red answer. I didn't come here to discuss business with a woman. Yeah, a bit of casual misogyny. I mean, it's easier to teach a camel algebra. Oh, it's easier to teach a camel algebra than it is to teach you manners, and I'd rather be with them. Mahmoud, me, business guru, Richard Branson, the stupid virgin, called me for business tips. I'm leaving. <laughs> you leaving? I'm gonna ride my How camel. How dare you? Yeah. Well, fuck off then! Bitch! So do you agree with Mahmoud on this one, Charlotte? No, I don't, and I'm not surprised in the slightest why this didn't work. Could we talk about business? Of course. Uh, yeah, we'll look after her. She'll be fine. You don't have to worry about money or anything. Uh, 
even my worst whore has a diamond party here. What? If she has a baby, it's like the biggest lottery win. Oh my God, she's so lucky. How do I become one of those? That is a seeding system, and you know you have to you know enter a competition. Oh, a competition for world's best harem? Um, hmm. Yes. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. Why not? Uh, because. Fuck that. <laughs> no. You won't get a better opportunity in your life to be wealthy. Any opportunity is a better opportunity than you. I'm done. Bye. King Hell. You're walking out. Okay, Rolex then. <laughs> So this one was a bit too direct, like for a rich guy, you shouldn't offer explicitly, maybe, yeah? No, it's as if he was expecting something in return. It's, it's not cool. He was, actually. Oh. <laughs> uh, what is this? Why Kiki Zips? What is that? Well, we have a family business, which we have been running for generations. My great, 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 great grandfather. Really? What kind of business? YKK zips. <laughs> I have a zipper friend there on the back of my dress right now. Well, now it's because of Mahmood. You can <laughs> take off and put on your clothing. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. That's cool. <laughs> can you get me any free zippers? Excellent. I mean, you know, that's uh, maybe not the very best answer, but it's funny because either she catches you out and knows you're joking and you have a little laugh, or she doesn't realise that you're joking and thinks you really do own YKK zips, and then it's just ridiculous. It, Is it? I've never heard of YKK yeah, zips. Same. Really? Yeah. What? It's almost every zip. No, I'm oh. a button girl. Buttons. Okay. It was a joke. Huh. <laughs> well, that went over my Emma, fucking head. Did I tell you that I'm a trained uh, physician? No. Yeah, I like to help out in the community when I can. It's oh, wonderful. What the fuck is this? Please, I am ready for you. Remove the beautiful dress and prepare for your examination. Your chair is waiting. So, Mahmoud, what do you like to do in your spare time? That was creepy. Emma, this is not about Mahmoud. This is about you. What do you like to do? <laughs> Me? I like to read, I like to write, I like to dance. Dance? What yeah. type of dancing? Uh, mostly ballet. Ballet? Yeah. Russian ballet? I've never seen I'm Russian going to book some tickets. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hmm. What's the difference other than Russian people performing it? Uh, so is Mahmoud his last name or his first name or his only name? He only ever says Mahmoud. Make an assumption about her based on her interests. Ask her if she's ever had sex on a horse. That doesn't sound very comfortable. It's got to be red. Forget all this reading and writing bullshit. Do you like horses? Do you have a fuck on one? <laughs> have you ever had sex on a horse? <laughs> what? Or with a horse? Oh, fuck. Only what? on Wednesdays. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Emma! Emma, go! Emma, so late! Go! Emma! 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 So random. Yeah. It's a true story. I had a friend um, huh? from Syria and he was telling me how, yeah, he was telling me how cool it was to have sex on a horse. Right. And he how invited me to Syria because he's got stables. Uh -huh. He wasn't gay, but it was um, strange. Very, very strange. I mean, you didn't I mean with him, the sex on the horse. I gathered that one. <laughs> Maybe because when it moves, it kind of wobbles and it's, uh -huh. I don't know. Weird. Okay. So you like to read, which means you're intelligent. Um, you like to write, which 
means you're curious and you like ballet. You are cultured. Am I right? I'm sorry, it's from my mood. Well, no one's... I'm not being patronizing. I mean... Thank you so much. Like, people can read. Like, everyone can fucking read. That's the right answer. Um, making assumptions is a nice way to break up the questions and statements that you might otherwise have. And it's cool because when you try to make assumptions, you're obviously going to need to listen well. And you're, if you get it right, it's impressive. If you don't, it at least shows you're making an attempt to connect and to listen. But you're also telling, saying things to people that they're not going to refute. Really cool. I've never been you can say, oh, you can read. Then, no, I'm a fucking I idiot. You dine in the finest places. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Your hooker, please. So, oh, you like ballet. You must be cultured. No, I'm not fucking cultured at all. It's like, what? So your daughter is beautiful, sir. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sir. Nice. Ask him about his future career plans. Call in your security guard. Uh, oh, oh, for free some, because that wouldn't be read at all. I have a great idea. He's a good looking boy. How about a threesome? Me at the front, him at the back. That will be the best orgy ever. I'm sorry, I almost got sick. Um, <laughs> no, I have a better idea. You two guys can fuck each other, and I'm leaving. It was just a suggestion. Hey, wait, you are you, you down for it? Wait up. You want to join me? Yeah. Never do that. <laughs> Freesomes or waiters or anything, yeah? What do you think? Vile. Vile. Going to security guard, ask him about his future. Wow, which is more aggressive? Like, is this passive aggressive? Like, you never go work in this company again? Or, or what? Does he own this restaurant? I'm confused. What does he own? <laughs> How much power does this guy have? Uh, let's go and ask security guard. You stupid Woody Woodpecker shit! Don't give me fucking shit like that! Security! Oh, I got an achiever. Get, Get this motherfucker out, fuckies! Uh, uh, Don't you fucking. Uh, uh, I stick fucking hooker up your ass! Fucking motherfucker! <laughs> wow. That's why nobody fucks with Mahmoud. I guess not. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, she's into that? Okay. I think this is not a bad move. Obviously, you know, for the guys watching this, maybe, I don't know, 82% of guys playing the game have security guards. Oh, yeah, definitely. Use them in a case like this. My security guard will fuck you Would up. Would you like it? Would you be impressed? I wouldn't be impressed. But if, it, if, it, if I felt that I was safer because they brought them in, but it depends on the situation. Gotcha. So tell me, Mark Mood, how old are you? How do you think I am? <laughs> In my family, they say you're only as old as the sum of your child brides. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that the implication of... Well, they're child brides, so yeah. Pedophilia, nice. Um, tell her she is too young for you and ask whether she is mature. 50, but I'm young at heart. Which is more red? Child, child brides. It's got to be, right? God, the implication. In my family, you're only as old as the sum of all the child brides. Child brides? As in children? No, younger brides. You're married to kids? <laughs> no, they are young. No, children are such. disgusting. That's a... That's pedophilic. You're pedophile. <laughs> I'm not a pedophile. I gotta go. I've just got a lot of love to give everybody. Yeah, they're, they're already 12. Calling who? They're, they're old enough. Calling the cops. Oh, God. Bye. No, no need to call them. Disgusting. Disgusting. Jeez. Child bride. <laughs> That's uh, pretty bad, yeah? Oh, extremely. Uh -huh. Fuck. Uh, like, that's, that's probably the right answer, right? This is a weird one, because I'm not sure how all this is going to go. I think you are too young for me. 
you know, show me how mature you are. I think I'm pretty mature. I've gotten a master's in psychology. I volunteered in Africa with the Red Cross, and I think that's pretty mature. That is mature. But not mature enough to not have to answer the question. I love this because there's obviously going to be a discussion of age at some point and for the man to take control of that and spin it as her potentially being too young is a lot better than kind of leaving it and waiting for her to say, aren't you a bit old for me? Yeah, and also I think there's an element of her trying to prove that he, she's actually right and so that she is old enough and I like that. And there are genuinely two ways to see it. He could be too old or she could be too immature and young, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going over the subtitles, what the fuck happened there? Correct body language to assume, mirroring her to gain rapport, leaning in to show you are interested in listening to her, and then rocking back so she invests. Okay. High status, like you are interviewing someone for a job. Well, that's weird. Licking your lips in a seductive way and winking. Obviously, that one. That's the best answer. Yeah, that's been nice and creepy. <laughs> and the subtitles are completely broken. This is really creepy. <laughs> oh, yeah, very creepy. Don't do it. Um, and this one's so formal that it's all awkward. Let's interview her in, in a weird way. It's also weird that they're not talking. Yeah, so high status body language for an older guy is really good. You know, he needs to play up his wisdom, his life experience, his high status, his knowledge, like all of these things that should set him apart from the young guys that she's normally associating with. Yeah, and I think body language is a good good place. But that was the right answer? Oh, okay. Grab her phone and throw it in her drink. Pretend to read emails of your own. Call her out for a phone usage. Pretend to be taking an important call from President Robert Mugabe. Didn't Robert Mugabe do a bunch of terrible shit? Which is the most read? Is it an association with Robert Mugabe? <laughs> Hello? Ah, Robert! How are you, Mr. President? Oh, it's a pleasure to speak to you. Yeah, you will be coming to Jenny's christening? Oh, that will be wonderful. Can't wait to see you. Yeah, definitely. Pleasure. Okay, bye-bye, Robert. Who is that? It's Robert, my friend. Robert Mugabe. Your friend is Robert Mugabe? Oh my god. Wow. That's not a lot of people. All right, so the old Robert Mugabe phone trick to show that you've also got important things going on. Good one? Well, no. And also, are you really going to answer the phone to a president during a date? Well, he's ex-president, so... Well, of someone of that importance... He's also I dead, apparently. That you leave the table if it's that important hmm. otherwise it shows like you're clearly trying to show off ah gotcha oh, i'm sorry i just got a happy chat 
Do you have happy chat? Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yes, I have an account. My username is Teen Pussy Lover. Ask her to help you set up an account. The teenager app. You said you were mature. <laughs> yes, I have that. I'll add you to the group of my free wives. Which is most read? Uh, they all feel like they're red. Like, why didn't you help me set up an account so I can do that and stalk you, perhaps? I have a terrible username. Uh, question her maturity. Tell her about having free wives already. I mean, they're all shit. Happy chat is so fun. Yeah, you can join the group of my three wives. Wait, you're married? Well, join the other group of the three whores. You will settle in. Perfect. <laughs> no, that's it. I'm done. You can't talk to me like that, and you're a pig. Oh, oh. You're a fucking creep. I'm so sick of this. I'm not turn me on. Come here. Come here, oh, baby. One normal day. That felt so good. <laughs> Come here, baby. Oh, I love her more. So Mahmoud has his two uh, groups right. you know, on Happy Chat. You got them mixed up? No, he's just got the wife group and the horse group. And I think neither of them would be a, a very Suitable. inviting yeah. Yeah, proposition for a young lady. Question her maturity. Yeah, it's Happy Chat. Happy Chat? That teenager? <laughs> oh, Emma, you naughty girl. I thought you said you were mature. Ah, uh, you got me. <laughs> it's okay. I like fun and games. <laughs> well, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Wait, she's... Oh, okay. She's down for that. Okay, weird. Nice one. That's the right Is one. Is it? Uh, it's a bit of a challenge. And in this position you had the you know if you chose the wrong option you would have been trying to play young which is never a, a good mood for you know a good move for an older guy like Mahmoud. No you know you should use your opportunity to show off your you know the fact that you can have a conversation and that you're you know either you're wise or well traveled and you have something to say. Wait, what she said has nothing I'm fitting sorry, to what this was about. I just got the worst message on Happy Chat. My friend, roommate, she's left the country and I can't get a hold of her. I don't really think she's going to be helping out with any of our bills, so. I trusted you, but you are only after Mahmoud's, Mahmoud's money. We just met, but if it turns out I can trust you, you won't have any problems. Hand her a stack of cash and ask... How many inches she wants off Big Mac? Well, that's a red answer right there. Uh, well, both of these are red. Uh, let's go for the uh, the inches, shall we? Let's go for the bright, the most for red. You, I assume darling, would be that one. One stack. <laughs> are you joking? My mistake. Two stack. You buy what money is that? Hmm. I have. Over 25 Bitcoin. In Holy fuck. Right now. How much money do you have? And even if they go to zero and all my investments are gone, I'd still rather be living in the street than live as your whore. Bitcoin shitcoin. This is what it's all about. I mean, about. you're wrong about that. You are ruined. Fuck off. Stupid boy. Emma, come here. She has 25 Bitcoin, so she's got about a million, a million pounds right now. It's the insinuation, right? Having sex for money. Yeah. Kind of on the border. On the border? So she's a millionaire. I mean, she's not hurting for cash. I guess they did not realise how, like, well, how would you theorise? How much fucking Bitcoin would be worth right now? So she, she's like, oh, I can't, you know, will, will I be able to afford my bills? I just have a million right here in fucking Bitcoin. Um, 
You're only after McMood's money when she's probably got more than you, actually. I don't know, he's supposed to be rich, isn't he? But she could. <laughs> she's the rich one here. I can't understand. As far as we know. As far as I know. always happened to me? You know, I can't accept that. What? I didn't do anything. Just people all the time, all women, all you women, use, abuse me. I don't, I don't want to, no, I, no. I am so oh, no. misunderstood chill, chill. that I can't chill. No. 1982. No. Jeanette from Grimsby, she used me. She took all my money. And then Sarah, I don't she know took who my these money. women are. And I then you need to go, you need help, and you need a breath mint, and you need to relax, and I'm going, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I can't understand. Why me all the time? Now, after that, are you going to do it again? <laughs> Maybe. I've only just met you, and, you know, if I can trust you, then, you know, things will be okay. Well, of course you can trust me, but that's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Please. Mahmoud has a big heart, and he helps people close to him. That's actually really sweet. I like hearing that. <laughs> thank you. I am all yours. Oh, you, you don't need to do that, but thank you. You're so nice. <laughs> Mahmoud or Mahmoud? Stop changing oh, how you pronounce your name. Choice. You know, if a guy is super loaded, it's, it's a fine line between kind of flashing the money or kind of gently hinting that uh, with him you could have a really nice lifestyle and that he's generally a good guy and generous with all his friends, family and girlfriends. Yeah, I think if you can show that you are, have a nice quality about you, that you're generous, I don't think the money is important. But as long as you're a nice in character, you know, I think that will sh show, you know, I think that will show when you're talking to her. I need to show my unique selling points. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, would she be interested in him realistically if he had no money and wasn't successful? Who knows? Probably not. Um, that's not to say she's a gold digger. It's just how people are. Give her some advice on what to do to follow her passion. Talk about how your life is settled and you're happy and you don't have any ambition to do anything more. Talk about prostate. Examine graphic detail. <laughs> That's the most read, right? Let's do that. Emma, did I tell you about my prostate examination check? No. Oh la la. The doctor called me. I was in, bent over, mm. stuck his glove on, with a little bit of lube, then finger by finger, all in, then his fist. <laughs> I'm going to go to the toilet. I was in heaven. <laughs> what an experience. This is just totally unnecessary. Yeah, I agree. Get these guys away. Unnecessary. Now be polite to our guests. Aw, oh, cute doggy. Uh, talk about your life is so and you have no ambition. I have no ambition anymore. Never my darling. You know, there's nothing really out there left that I need to accomplish. I'm in a very settled, comfortable place. You know, mashallah. You know, God has been good to me. I just feel like I'm just starting out. I I respect that. I would love to be that, but I I just I have so many things that I need to see and do. Sure. And I I have so much ambition. I I need to be with someone who has the same passion for life as I do. But you seem to be having a pretty wonderful time. I think we're just in completely different places. It's just that then, isn't it? No fun. Do you like guys with no ambition? No. It's a huge turn off. 
even if you have an ambition to do a hobby. What if my ambition is to have no ambition? Because I've already done everything. <laughs> then you're a boring person. Because you can't have done everything. I don't, like, no one's going to have no ambition, are they? Like, everyone wants to do something. Or see something. Don't they? You know, to be honest, Mock Mood, I was a little skeptical when I first got here. I was about to leave, but there was just something about you that was really sweet, and I'm really glad I gave you a second chance because otherwise we wouldn't have had this nice evening. I'm glad I stayed. Well, lots of jumping times. Emma, I'm sensing there's, you know, a little spark missing. You know, maybe it's the age gap or, you know, I don't know, but, you know, I have a suggestion for you. What would that be? Invite her to become one of your own paid whores. <laughs> Invite her to a charity party. Yeah, I don't want to pay for my whores, so... Uh... Emma, <laughs> why don't you become one of my unpaid whores? Why are they unpaid, when though? Cook, Wait, don't you have to be paid to, to be a whore? Isn't that, isn't that a job? When you do meet someone you like, you have everything. High five! <laughs> oh, I mean, if you're unpaid, wouldn't you be a mistress or something? That is a no, then. Rather than a whore. I'd rather eat glass. No, not the best idea for a date invitation, obviously. Charity party it is then. Emma, I have an exclusive invitation for Amnesty International at Sotheby's. Why don't you be my guest? There's very well to do an important people there and you can wear that lovely dress and there'll be a lot of fine artwork and fine dining. So yeah, you know, if um, if a date hasn't gone fantastically or you're inviting someone on, on, on another meeting and, you know, you're not so sure if they'll say yes, if you have some really cool date idea, whether it's something super fancy or just something really interesting, or if you invite other people as well, like her friends, then it's uh, a way to get a more likely yes than kind of a romantic one-on-one -on -one second date. No, and it lengthens your opportunity to get to know her a bit more. Because one of the biggest attraction builders is just time spent together and, uh, you know, the mere exposure effect. That really sounds like the night of my life, but... Well, yeah, I, I'll think about it for sure. I'll definitely text you. <laughs> okay, you didn't get the best ending for poor old Mahmoud, but he might see her again if she doesn't find something better to do. <laughs> so you could have done better. Could have done better, could have done worse. Emma, I am so sorry, my darling. I have a very important business meeting. You're such a lovely yeah, no, girl. It's time for me to go and as well. You know, I will make sure that you get home safely, oh, okay? No, no, Don't no, worry no. about anything. Nice no, no, enough. Max! It's not necessary. I can, I, know, I can get my own way. It's hey, okay. come on! I, like walking. I will get you home. No, no, Max, no. get... It's unnecessary. Are you Thank sure? You. Of course, yes. I was continue going. Uh, I thought that would have been the end. Wait, what is going on? We have another date. What? Oh, this one looks more friendly. Huh? Average Joe. I'm fine with that if any guys want to use my picture okay. No, that's catfishing and that's <laughs> No. 
Okay, so that was the worst choices for Mahmoud. Let's try out what my choices will result in. Hopefully better than this. Okay.